So after this uh, important lesson, how to open bottles for your future. <laughs> Welcome and congratulations the winners of the must start competition men. First Björn Ferry, Sweden, second Martin Foucault, France and third Evgeny Yugov, Russia. Björn, three competition days, three podiums, two wins. Can you believe what happened here? No, not really. Well, it's the best week in my whole career. And today it was the race. Like the sprint, I shot one mistake, but then when Martin missed two and Emil missed three, and of course, you can be lucky one day, but not three days in a row. <laughs> then it's something. And today, four times zero, it was high standard. Today, it was still a little bit of wind. And to go with Martin and Emil on the fourth loop, with the big guys, and four times zero, and then together with Martin in the final loop, was, it was great. I think it's the race of my life. When did you thought you could stand against strong Mata and win again? When did you thought you could stand against strong Mata and win again? Well, I knew, uh, had a memory, you know, remember the mass start two years ago here. Then it was also me, Mata and Svensson on the final loop, but, but then we fight for a fourth position. <laughs> but then I also had the same tactic too pick up some speed in the quick downhill and in the turn I get higher speed in the uh, in the lost pukles. So I made the same today and I was more fresh in the legs and I think my time was a little bit tired. So I was surprised that I thought it would be a sprint finish but I had a plan for that too to go real on the right side because last time he came on the right side then. So I thought okay I pushed to the right side but he was not there this time. So thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Any time now for celebrating this great success or just hopping into the plane and going to the next stage? No, no, it's Thursday. It's a couple of days. <laughs> I have to talk to Emil. He's a good man at celebration. I don't know really how to do it, but it's Sunday, so perhaps I have a glass of wine tonight. Mata, how do you comment on the finish round between you and Björn? Have you ever seen him that strong? <laughs> And like it all, uh, I remember uh, two years ago when we fight uh, on the final loop and uh, he attacked on the final final curve. So this time I put my pulse, <laughs> like it, he, he, he couldn't pass, but yeah, you know, uh, I, I was exhausted on the final loop and uh, Bjorn was really good on the last appeal. So yeah, uh, you know, some days you have nothing to say than only congrats. But the round after the sh third shooting looked pretty tactical, um, with being in the lead, stopping suddenly so that the other have to pass, uh, then taking the lead before the shooting range. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, you know, it was um, I, uh, I was uh, out of the shooting range with Emil, and I did all the beginning of the, the loop uh, on the front, and he didn't want to pass, you know. So I know Emil uh, better than all the athletes. It's my best opponent, and so I stopped, like he, like it he needed to, he needed to pass. And uh, then the final um, uh, entrance on the shooting range was also really uh, uh, risky. <laughs> but uh, you know, biathlon, yeah, biathlon, it's a bit like uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Final uh, shoot, it's a great battle. Uh, you have to be wild, and uh, I was today, so yeah. It's uh, oh, every time really hard to, to, to fight, but it's uh, only in the end, you know, on the, fi on the final shoot. All the guys can shoot clean, 
but only some do it because it's a really, really hard uh, ad battle. It's maybe a little bit unfair, but uh, we are so much used to great competitions from you, great performances, and you have a great lead also in the total score. So even if Marta Foucault does two seven, uh, seven places, people are asking, is there something wrong? Yeah, so you know, what was I, the problem? I had a lot of uh, uh, fans who, who were disappointed on social network. Uh, and they said, uh, you know, he didn't want to continue after Olympics. He's bad now. And yeah, I think show, I show today uh, being back on the podium that it's not the truth. And uh, of course, you know, I, uh, the people uh, I used to, to be, uh, I win a lot. So they wanted me uh, winning. And when I don't do it, it's uh, always a shame. But, uh, you know, I know the level of the other guys, and I respect them a lot. So a seven place, it's also really good. The total score seems pretty safe for you now. Last season, you won all the individual Globes plus the total score. What are your expectations at the moment for the season and the Globes? Uh, of course, I want to, to win the, the total Globe. Uh, I'm only fighting for three, uh, a small crystal globe, because, you know, like uh, Olympics uh, was not on the on the match this year, uh, and I'm disappointed about that. Uh, I can't win all the Globes, but uh, I will fight for Sprint Pursuit Master and overall, it's uh, also really good. And uh, you know, my main aim this season was the Olympics, and now it's only big bonus. Evgeny, for sure today, clean shooting was very important, as the only three men staying clean over the whole competitions are sitting here on the podium. Tell us about the shooting and skiing conditions today. Женя, очевидно, что сегодня стрельба была решающим моментом, потому что единственные три спортсмена, которые сегодня показали чистую стрельбу, сидят на подиуме. Как ты можешь оценить сегодняшние условия на стрельбище и на трассе? Ну, за те два дня соревновательных был очень шквальный ветер, и он постоянно менялся, и я видел, как много спортсменов, и знаменитых, и вообще любого уровня допускали промахи, и сегодня, скажем, замечательный день, солнечный, и сегодня было не столько много ветра, как в предыдущие дни, и на самом деле сегодня решалось, кто стреляет чисто, тот и будет в призах. Uh, the previous two competition days uh, were very challenging on the shooting range because of the wind. It was always the changing wind and we saw that a lot of uh, sport um, athletes, also the top athletes, had problems on the shooting range. And today we had a beautiful day, um, no wind on the shooting range and so that's why the shooting was uh, maybe um, they decided for the today's competition. Second time in this World Cup season, uh, you are on the podium. You have been third in the individual in Ruppolding. How satisfied are you with your complete season, including the Olympics? Это второй подиум в этом сезоне на этапах Кубка мира. Был еще третье место в Ruppoldingе в индивидуальной гонке. Как ты оцениваешь свой общий сезон, включая Олимпийские игры? Ну, на мой взгляд, сезон выдался удовлетворительным, что касается Кубков мира и, в принципе, удовлетворительным по личным гонкам на Олимпийских играх, ну, а за эстафету на 5 с плюсом. I think I had a satisfying uh, season also in the individual uh, competitions and also in the uh, Olympic competition in my individual races and to relay in the Olympics uh, is the perfect one. Do we have questions? No, thank you very much.